Ladies, these are five core exercises that you should do every single day, especially after having babies. You know, you hear about it all the time. You hear about the importance of postpartum core and core rehab, but what exactly does that mean and why is it important? That's what we're gonna help you out with today. We're simply gonna teach you five basic foundational core rehab exercises that every mom should do in order to make that happen. Camille's here with me. Let's go ahead and we're gonna get started. She's gonna lay down on her back. We're gonna start with belly breathing. Now, the whole premise of this is to activate your deepest core layer. It's this muscle that comes around, it wraps around your back, it's like a corset. When you keep it strong, it's gonna decrease back pain, it's gonna help with incontinence, it helps with SI joint pain, and it helps with the appearance of that mommy pooch, pouch, tummy, diastasis recti, and abdominal separation. So to do that, what Camille's going to do, she's on her back with her knees bent, the first thing we need to do is set up her pelvis in the proper position. And so she's going to rock it backwards. She's gonna flatten her lower back down into the floor. Now she's going to take a deep breath into her belly. So as she breathes in, her belly is going to expand. As she breathes out, you're going to contract those muscles. You're going to draw your belly button up and in towards your spine. Use those muscles to do that. You see it's nice and flat right here. That's a good deep core contraction. Hold that for about three to five seconds and then reset the system. So another deep breath into her belly. As the breath goes out, you're using your stomach muscles to draw your abdomen in. Another good cue is the, the bones here on the front of your hip. Try to use your muscles to pull those together. That's also a really good cue, might help you to activate those correct muscles. And typically on this, what I recommend is about 10 repetitions or 10 big breaths, and then repeat that for three sets. So three sets of 10, or about 30 repetitions in total. Next, let's take that to the next level. We're going to do the belly breathing, but then we're going to add some hip motion with it. So we're gonna add some bridges. And so she's gonna do a nice, nice deep core contraction, deep breath into her belly, breathe out, stomach comes in, hold that, now you're gonna squeeze your glutes, lift your hips up towards the ceiling, hold that one, two, three seconds, and then come right back down. What we're training the core for with this move, keep going babe, deep breath in and then down. What we're training the core here is to hold that deep core contraction while we're activating some of the hip muscles alongside with it. It's a great way to make it more functional. And again, three sets of 10 is a great number to shoot for. Number three is going to be a modified side plank. Camille's gonna roll over onto her side. We're gonna do a modified version of a plank. So her down leg, right now she's on her left side, down leg is bent, so her left leg is bent. She's on, the, on her left elbow. In all things, we're gonna start with that deep core contraction, deep breath into your belly, and then as you breathe out, it comes in. As it comes in, she's gonna pop up into a side plank. We're gonna hold that for five to 10 seconds, and again, holding that deep core contraction, and then come right back down. So a nice deep core contraction, pop up into the side plank. We're adding the hip abductor muscles with this, in addition to some of these lateral pillar muscles, we get the obliques activated with this. Great exercise. Again, hold it for about five to 10 seconds, and then we usually try to repeat that about 10 times on each side. And then next, let's get into some dying bugs. This is one of my favorites. She's gonna lay down on her back. We're gonna add some arm movement with the leg movement in addition to the deep core contraction. So let's brace the abs first. And so we're gonna do an abdominal brace. She's gonna lift both knees up into this tabletop 90-90 position, 90 degrees at her hips, 90 degrees at her knees. Both arms reach overhead. As she holds that deep core contraction, she's slowly gonna lower right arm and left leg, really trying to hold and maintain right here. Come back together, left arm, right leg. And so it's kind of this Picture a bug on its back that's dying. Like I know it's kind of morbid, but that's a good visual, right? And we're going to alternate just like that. Keep in mind, the most important part is this deep core contraction. If you need to take a break, reset the system, reset that deep core contraction, please do that because again, that's the most important part. And usually about three sets of 10 is a great number to shoot for there. Now I do have one more exercise for you, but I want to mention these are basic, these are foundational. If you do these and if you find them easy, 
you're definitely going to need an advancement to this. We've got you covered. Hang out till the end of the video and we're going to link a more advanced version of all of these exercises. Last exercise is going to be a sideline hip abduction. Camille's gonna go over onto her left side again. This time she's all the way down just in a comfortable position. Left leg or the down leg can be bent. And then you've seen these before. So the hip abduction exercise is lifting your leg up to the ceiling. That's too easy though. And also we're after the deep core contraction. And so we're gonna hit one of those belly breaths. And so she's gonna take a deep breath into her belly. And then as the belly, as the breath goes out, the stomach comes in. You're using your muscles to seal and wrap, draw everything up and in. We're holding that contraction as we now add this hip abduction exercise. So again, this is the deep core contraction right here, ladies. This is what you're after. This is the secondary movement right here. If you're doing this at the hips without doing this at your stomach, you're missing the mark. That's what we need to focus on. And usually 10 reps on each side, repeated three times. Said another way, three sets of 10 reps on both sides. Now, if you're interested in an entire core rehab program, we built it for you. You can learn more about it at mommytummyfix.com. If you're interested in the progression to these exercises, we've got you covered there as well. Click on this video to check those out. If you haven't subscribed to Mommy Tummy Fix yet, hit the circle right here to do that. We'd love to see you back for future videos. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.